Welcome to an overview of the NISA's Negative Pressure Wound Therapy System. The purpose of this program is to help you become familiar with the basic features and the accessories that come with the device. Each device comes with a 500 ml canister or a 250 ml canister. The size of your canister will be determined by your physician. It will also come with a black carrying bag as well as a medium or a large kit. Again, the size of the kit will be determined by your physician. In order to power your device on, locate the power button, press and hold the power button, and the device will power on. The base screen will display date, time, battery indicator, your pressure setting, run time, and the mode of your therapy. In order to access the menu, locate the menu select button, and now you have four different selections to choose from. In order to access therapy mode, find your menu select button, press down, make sure therapy mode is highlighted. Once highlighted, press menu select, and now you have two different choices, continuous mode and intermittent mode. These therapies will be changed or adjusted by your clinician. In order to access the alarms, locate menu select, arrow over to highlight the alarms. Once highlighted, press menu select. Here you will see leak, blockage, troubleshooting, and log display. Ensure that leak, blockage, and troubleshooting menu are on. Make sure that the highlight is over the on selection. Arrow down to highlight log display. This section here will display the alarms that have occurred with date and the time. In order to access the settings, locate menu select, arrow down to highlight settings, once highlighted, press menu select. Here you will see language, change date and time, factory admin, runtime reset, and software version. In order to change the language from English to Spanish, make sure language is highlighted. Once highlighted, arrow over to highlight to Spanish. In order to access the troubleshooting menu, locate the menu select button, press down, arrow down and over to highlight the troubleshooting menu. Once highlighted, press menu select. Here you will see the menu for leak, blockage, and canister full. This gives you the ability to read the instructions on how to rectify an alarm by scrolling down. Upon an alarm, a pop-up menu will display with an audible and visual sound. It will give you the ability to mute the alarm. Ensure that yes is highlighted. Once highlighted, press menu select. This will mute the alarm and it will take you to the troubleshooting menu for that alarm. Arrow down to read the instructions on how to rectify the alarm. Blockage alarm will display in this top left corner until the alarm is resolved. To charge your device, locate the charging port, take your charging plug, and plug the device into the battery charger. Now you will see the blue light this will indicate that your device is plugged into a power outlet. 
Also, you will see the lightning bolt that's displayed next to the battery indicator. This indicates that your device is charging. Once your device reaches 100% of battery life, the lightning bolt will disappear, but the blue light will stay illuminated. In order to place a canister onto the device, take your device and a canister, hinge the canister onto your device until you feel it latch. In order to remove your canister, with the pump facing you, release the latch on the right hand side and hinge the canister off your device. Dispose of the canister per your state's regulation.